Hi and welcome to another Carpenter Tutoring Tutorial. I'm Amy and today we're going to talk through some examples of using the distributive property with expressions including variables. So let's jump right in. First, let's consider the expression 2 times the quantity 5x plus 3. Because I see this 2 on the outside of the parentheses and there's nothing I can do to combine the values inside the parentheses because they're not like terms, one thing I can do to eliminate those parentheses is distribute the 2 into both parts of the expression inside the parentheses. So I can think of this really as 2 times 5x plus 2 times 3. I can simplify each of those multiplication problems by turning the 2 times 5x into 10x and the 2 times 3 into 6. I still have addition between these two, so I can write this as 10x plus 6. Let's take a look at the second example. I have 2 times the quantity 3 minus 7t. Again, I can distribute this 2 into both parts of the expression in parentheses, so I can think of this as 2 times 3 minus 2 times 7t. 2 times 3 is 6, I'll keep my subtraction symbol, and then 2 times 7t is 14t. So that means I can rewrite this expression as 6 minus 14t. Finally, we have the expression the quantity 3b minus 2 times 1 third. There are a couple funky things happening with this one that are important for us to talk about. First of all, we see the value that we're multiplying the entire expression or quantity by at the end of the quantity. That's okay, I'm still showing multiplication between the expression in parentheses and the fraction that we have at the end. So it doesn't matter if that fraction's at the beginning of the quantity or at the end. The other thing we see is that our fraction's a fraction. So far we've been distributing in whole numbers. I can distribute in fractions, decimals, other variables, so it's possible for me to distribute in all kinds of values, not just whole numbers. Even though this one looks a little bit different, the process is going to be the same. We can distribute this one-third into both parts of our expression in parentheses. So I can think of this as 3b times one-third minus 2 times one-third. 3b times one-third would be 3b over 3, and then the 3s would cancel out because any number over itself is just equal to 1, and 1 times b would just leave us with b, so we can consider this as b. I'll keep my subtraction symbol, and then 2 times 1 third would be 2 thirds, so I can also write this expression as b minus 2 thirds. I hope it's been helpful to go through a couple examples of using the distributive property in expressions with variables. As always, if you have any questions or other topics that you'd like to see covered, please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoy our content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me, and I'll catch you next time.